Okay, so here's obviously one that is slightly more difficult. As you can see here now, it's not just an X in the denominator, but we've dealt with fractions sufficiently now so that you know how to find the lowest common denominator. So let's find the lowest common multiple for the denominators. Okay, before we can do that, we actually have to first factorize the denominators. Okay, and before it wasn't necessary, but now it is because we want factors to find the LCM. Okay. Here we see we have 6 over, we can take a 3 out here so that it's x plus 5. And and that's the point. Here you can see we've got an x plus 5 and an x plus 5. Okay, let's start the LCM by, um, and, and I like to explain LCM these days like, almost like they have to choose a president. This first one will vote for x plus 5. Okay. The second one will vote for 4. So whoever's president must have 4 and x plus 5. The next one will vote for 3 and x plus 5. Now x plus 5 is already there and uh, and 4 is there but 3 is not there so we'll also have to multiply with 3. Now I can just multiply the, the 4 with 3 so we can just make it 12. Okay so I'm going to multiply with the LCM which means that the first term is going to get multiplied with 12f x plus 5. The second one is going to multiply with 12 x plus 5 and as well as the last one gets multiplied with 12 x plus 5. Now when we do so what we see is that this first one the x plus 5 cancel with the x plus 5 so we've got 9 times 12 which is 108. In the second one we've got the 4 cancels with the um, it all divides into the 12, 3 gets left over, so it's negative 3 times 3, which means it's negative 9, and that negative 9 gets multiplied into this bracket, x plus 5 is equal to, on this side, the x plus 5 cancels with the x plus 5, and the 3 divides into the 12 4 times, so it's equal to 6 times 4, which is 24. And now I can simplify, I've got 108 minus 9x minus 45 is equal to 24 and that simplifies to well let's see negative 9 x 108 minus 45 gives me uh, 363 gives me 63 positive 63 equals to 24 and now I've got negative 9 x is equal to subtract 63 from both sides minus 63 that gives me what's that 59 uh, minus 20 is 39 okay so I've got negative negative 39. So dividing both sides with my negative 9, I'm sure you are used to doing this by now. Okay, and that would give me as a reduced fraction, always try giving your answers a reduced fraction. Uh, what can this be? This is 3 times 13, and this is 3 times 3. So 3 skin cancels give me 13 over 3. And that's my final answer.